A very warm welcome and a gorgeous day ahead, dear viewers. In the today, we are going to talk about this. Today is the second session of the design thinking process. Welcome to it. As we stated in the first session, in the first video, the design thinking is a very complex process. So it is necessary for me to take you through the various stages of design thinking. The first stage is the core, is the essence of design thinking. It is about empathy and hence rightly termed empathy too. It involves a certain degree, a great degree of immersion into the experiences of the user from the point of view, from the side of the design thinker. Observation and a deep insight by actual engagement, personal engagement in the experiences of the user. This particular stage in general is a very, very, in short, it is a very user friendly process or the stage itself involves a degree, a certain degree of being immensely user friendly. This is the first stage of design thinking that is empathizing. Well, at the end of this first stage you have empathizing. The next stage is defining. Friends, most of the problems that the users face what are generally very vaguely addressed by generally the manufacturers, the goods provider, the service providers, they're generally very, very vaguely addressed and normally border around a number of assumptions. So what is required is a clear definition and in the definition, the shift has to be made from the benefits of the entrepreneur, of the manufacturer or the person who's providing the goods and services to the benefits of the end users. Let's picture this. Let's take an example. Suppose there is a school <clears throat> and it wants to upgrade the results of its students. And there are a few students who are not really performing well. Suppose a problem is defined or addressed as we need to bring the standards of these students, improve the performances of these students who are doing badly so that we get a better accreditation and our ranking in the list of school goes up. Suppose the definition of the problem is created this way, it becomes more for the benefit of the school than for the benefit of the student. The student's benefit is incidental. The focus seems to be more on the benefit of the schoolers. What if it is defined this way? It is necessary to address the students who have been scoring less than 60% and help them doing better so that their self-esteem improves and their confidence improves and in the future their personality develops to become much better citizens. It is the same issue but better defined and the definition is more towards the user's requirement rather than the service provider's requirement. So the shift has been made from the school to the students. This is the process of defining a particular problem. Next to that, after empathizing and defining comes ideating. At the end of it, once the problem has been defined, the thinkers, the design thinkers and the designers of the school are going to come out with a particular system or a particular strategy, sit together, brainstorm and come out with a number of ideas as to how to up the results of these students who are scoring less than 60%. So certain ideas crop up as a result of them. At this stage, some of these ideas are workable also. Say for example, ideas come this way. Let us tackle them largely on mathematics and English and also on their psychology. So the ideas could come as one hour each of mathematics and English on alternate days of the week. So it could be Tuesday, Wednesday and Friday. And on Mondays, we could sit with one hour of pep talk and counseling. And even the sessions in mathematics and English should be through creative worksheets and puzzles and games to make the students get interested. So these are certain workable ideas that come at the end of the ideation stage for this particular kind of a 
user problem or a user need. The user in this case is a student. Is this the end of design thinking? Certainly not. There is much more to design thinking than merely empathizing and defining and ideating. But for this, we need to wait for the next video. Till then, keep sharing your view as well as your views and then go through the stages again and again with the help of the pause button. It will really be an enriching experience. And do give us your feedback through the comment section. A very good day to you. Wishing you goodbye and thank you.